So what do you read? Expected responses were Fiction Non-fiction Popular novels Autobiographies But I said Newspapers and blogs And I got a smirk that equal to Show off But it's true Reading novels, books Novelas are hobbies, a hobby that takes the reader in for a journey with the character and at the end of it turns out to be the time to make a new buy. In today's evolving time and age, we have to know something of what is going on in the world. Not only for our own satisfaction, but also to be able to converse intelligently with our fellows. Nowadays, when all are more or less educated, almost everybody reads some daily paper or the other. A man who never reads a newspaper cannot keep in touch with the times. In my city, I see this missing. Kids will go through the fashion and Bollywood gossip columns. They do this seeing their moms do this. They see their dad flipping through pages only to reach the share bazaar page and the child feels, oh, that's the most important part of the newspaper. Agreed that people with different tastes look for different kinds of news in the newspaper. But the purpose of this medium of communication is to know what has been happening at home, what has been happening in other countries. In the paper, we find the latest news of political doings and movements. Or if we are interested in sports, the results of cricket, football, hockey and tennis matches and of some popular horse races, motor races, cycle races and so on. Some have a taste for police news, while some read the accounts of crimes, the capture of criminals and law court trials. In these days too, we turn eagerly to the news about foreign powers and the present international situation. And we debate on the urgent questions of peace and war, don't we? Yesterday's paper was filled with gruesome death of Gaza and Ukrainians. Someone commented on that. But sadly, that's the truth. That's happening around us. We are safe in our homes. <laughs> Touch wood. But we ought to know about what's happening elsewhere too. And newspapers are supposed to convey the facts and not be like the television commercials where everyone's infectiously happy and smiling. Newspapers make me feel a part of the bigger picture, the world. Opinions, editors speak, experts say make me feel to help to think logically. Online reading takes my major chunk of reading time. It helps me weigh my pros and cons and thus makes me opinionated. Blogs direct me to take the personal approach and relate to unknown people and their lives. Reading beyond books since an early age makes you, you and not just any other person influenced by your day-to-day -day routine and family. And as Bacon says, read not to contradict and confute nor to believe and taken for granted, but to weigh and consider. That's progress for me.